Hello and welcome to Nerdy Unreal Dev. And today we're just doing a quick little update to the sub UV uh, video. Just due to the fact that there was a subtle change in 4.26 and I just wanted to run that over with y'all. So to begin with, for those who don't know, a sub UV is a specific kind of texture sheet that allows for an animation when doing particle effects. Uh, this is the fire sub UV from the starter content. And you can see um, it's in a six by six grid. And this is actually important. So to use the sub UV in the particle effect, um, I have just your basic Niagara default sprite going on. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the material to uh, the sub UV material because you can't just do it through the texture sheet. It does need to be made into a material first. But we're definitely not done. As you can see, the texture sheet just goes in and out. So we need to change the size and so this one's six by six, another one might be eight by eight or two by two, uh, whatever uh, grid it is, you just put six by six and it can be like uh, five by four. You just wanna make sure it's the correct coordinates. Uh, but now things are still wonky. And this is where the slight change comes in. So under particle update, we're going to type in UV and the only option for sub UVs uh, really is sub UV animation. And just by putting this in, we've already got some action, but uh, you should note that start frame, end frame, as well as linear versus curve or random. What we want in this case is linear as we're just going through the sheet. And we don't want it uh, 63 because it's just going through each of these frames 63 times. Uh, so a little, un little less than twice. <laughs> so what we actually want is start frame zero. So note, this is not one, this is zero. And six by six times six is 36. So we're going to put on 35 and this is a little slower now. Uh, you're able to speed it up, whatnot, mess with various settings, but now you can see it's actually more flame like now. Uh, so hope this was helpful. Uh, if you find this and my other videos helpful, please donate to my coffee. Also have a link, an clip studio affiliate link where you click that, I get a little something, and you get Clip Studio Paint to help you with any 2D work. Plus, until September 6th, they're 50% off. So go get that deal. Have a good one.